The World Economic Forum, in conjunction with the United Nations, just called for the worldwide decriminalization of child rape and paedophilia. The globalist elite have been attempting to normalize paedophilia behind the scenes for years now, and now we are seeing the fruits of their labor right out in the open. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and join the People's Voice Locals community to support the channel and engage with our amazing community. The link is in the description box below this video. A new report from the United Nations has called for all forms of drug use and sexual activity to be decriminalized globally. Written by the International Committee of Jurists, UN AIDS, and the Office of the High Commission for Human Rights, the report was released on International Women's Day with the goal of guiding the application of international human rights law to criminal law. Called the 8th of March Principles, the report calls for offences related to drugs and sex, including paedophilia and incest, to be decriminalised. According to the legal experts at the United Nations and WEF, laws against paedophilia constitute an attack on the human rights of, wait for it, children. That's right. According to the globalist elite, the age of consent is a discriminatory concept that discriminates against children who want to have sex with adults. The report states, With respect to enforcement of criminal law, any prescribed minimum age of consent to sex must be applied in a non-discriminatory manner. Enforcement may not be linked to the sex or gender of participants or age of consent to marriage. Moreover, sexual conduct involving persons below the domestically prescribed minimum age of consent to sex may be consensual, in fact, if not in law. In this context, the enforcement of criminal law should reflect the rights and capacity of persons under 18 years of age to make decisions about engaging in consensual sexual conduct and their right to be heard in matters concerning them. Pursuant to their evolving capacities and progressive autonomy, persons under 18 years of age should participate in decisions affecting them with due regard to their age, maturity and best interests, and with specific attention to non-discrimination guarantees. Minors, of course, cannot truly consent to sex with an adult, something these so-called experts should know. This is just another evil policy pushed by the globalist elite on unsuspecting citizens of Western countries. If you're wondering how any adult could possibly bring themselves to argue that laws against paedophilia infringe on the rights of children, then you must remember that to the globalist elite, bad equals good. And we have now reached the phase of their master plan where they are rubbing it in our faces. Regular viewers of this channel will know that we are interested in building the body as well as the mind. And that's where today's sponsor comes in. I was actually using C60 long before they sponsored our program. I was tired of feeling sluggish and drained and was looking for a natural way to take back control of my health and give myself the vitality I need to face my daily challenges. Vitamin C60 is an all natural supplement made with pure organic carbon 60 that has been shown to reduce oxidative stress, improve energy levels, and most importantly, support the immune system. It's plant-based, gluten-free, and strictly non-GMO, so you can trust you're getting the best for your body and mind. Don't let Big Pharma hold you back any longer. We are so excited to share C60 with you that we're giving 20% off the regular price to viewers of this video who place an order using the coupon code NEWSPUNCH. Please visit vitaminc60.com or click the link in the description box below this video. Klaus Schwab boasted in 2017 that the WEF had completely infiltrated the Canadian government. And since then, Justin Trudeau and his deputy, Christina Freeland, both of whom are young global leaders, have pushed one WEF policy after another on the Canadian people. First, Canada became the euthanasia capital of the world, with the state determined to euthanize anybody they consider useless, including children. Then Trudeau worked Canada further into the WEF's good books when he began freezing bank accounts of pro-freedom protesters involved in the trucker protests. Now Trudeau's Canada is laying the groundwork to take children away from parents who don't support their young children having sex change surgery and taking life-altering hormones before they're old enough to have any understanding of the consequences of their decision. And liberal Washington state is already on the move with this agenda. Washington state passed Senate Bill 5599 on Thursday, which allows the state to legally remove children from their parents if they do not consent to their children's gender transition surgeries. All Democrats voted yes to pass the controversial bill, while all Republicans voted no. Democrats are waging a war on the right of parents to be in charge of the care of their children, particularly around LGBT issues and sexual related matters such as birth control and abortion. Senate Bill 5599 allows shelters to keep runaway juveniles from their parents so that they can get abortions or gender surgeries, including the removal of girls' breasts or a uterus. And paedophilia isn't the only taboo they're determined to smash. 
Incest is also on the WEF's agenda, and they are determined to have it legalized in all WEF infiltrated countries, starting with Germany. According to the WEF, anti-incest laws violate the human rights of brothers and sisters who want to have relationships and start families, and a government-backed group in Germany is now parroting the WEF line. It hardly needs to be said that laws against incest are there for a reason. The World Economic Forum claim they are committed to improving the state of the world. In reality, they are determined to drive humanity into disaster and they are attacking us on numerous fronts. Have you noticed that politicians and celebrities who have been corrupted by the globalist elite are becoming more desperate and aggressive in their language towards those they perceive as enemies? Last week, Bruce Springsteen's long-term friend and E Street Band guitarist, Little Steven Van Zant, declared that conservative Americans are scumbags, cowards and pussies and must be exterminated once and for all. Two hours after taking the stage with Springsteen on Sunday, Van Zant posted and then deleted the disturbing hateful rant on Twitter that called for the genocide of conservatives in America. He's far from the only celebrity calling for genocide in America. Hollywood star Will Smith said that Trump supporters should be monitored, put on a list, and cleansed from American society. And as painful as it is to hear uh, Donald Trump talk and as embarrassing it is as an American to hear him talk, I think it's good. We get to hear it, we get to know who people are, and now we get to cleanse it out of our country. And don't forget Jane Fonda, who just last month on The View called for the murder of conservatives in America as a solution to pro-life laws. We have experienced many decades now of having agency over our body, of being able to determine when and how many children to have. We know what that feels like. We know what that's done for our lives. We're not going back. I don't care what the laws are. We're not going back. Yeah. Well, I think the women will rise up. That's the activist. That's Jane speaking, yeah. and, and, and and she probably will get a Nobel Prize. But it's very, the truth. Very, very soon. It, it is the truth. But but I, we're not going to do it. Besides, I, besides marching and, and protesting, what else do you suggest? Well, well it doesn't happen murder. overnight. It's not a miraculous. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> murder. <laughs> She's kidding. Wait a second. She's just now, kidding. Don't say that. That's oh, not... you don't know. They'll pick up on that and yeah, just run with it. Yeah, that's the worst. She's Joking. just kidding. It's well. Let me talk to you about. <laughs> Let's move on and talk about Jane's activism. There is a war going on and the elites and their puppets in politics and entertainment are becoming more desperate by the day to crush any dissent. Do not comply. It is more important than ever before to stand your ground and refuse to hand over your birthright to the globalist elite. Here at The People's Voice, we are determined to continue reporting on the crimes of the globalist elite and exposing their agenda to as many people as possible. But we need your help. Share this video far and wide to help spread the word and join the People's Voice Locals community. The link is in the description box below. To support the channel, join the club and receive exclusive and uncensored content. I hope to see you there.